Hi guys and welcome to another video. So today I am going to be cleaning out all of the pets. Um, sorry it's really windy but, ho but hopefully I've worked out how to sort my mic out now because we had a few issues with my last video. Um, but yes, so anyway we're going to clean out all the animals including the rabbits, the chickens, the pigs and the horses today. So we're going to start with the rabbits so let's go ahead. So for anyone new to my channel, I have four rabbits, three of them live in one big shed and then the other bunny lives in her own little shed. So we're going to be cleaning these out today because they are due a clean as you can see. Um, so some of them use their litter trays a lot, some of them don't really use them. So I'm going to be walking you through step by step how I clean all of my animals out and just showing you what I do um, and taking you along with me. So when it comes to cleaning the rabbits out, I use the mini tractor and trailer just to put all of the dirty shavings and hay and things in and then that all gets popped on the horse's muck heap at the end. So the first thing that I do is remove any hay that is on the floor and I normally pop this into their large litter trays and I remove any other small items like toys or bowls from their unit. Then at this point I normally remove the litter tray that then gets emptied into the back of the trailer and I just make sure that I remove any of the wet sawdust so this is Ariel's. Ariel uses her litter tray religiously whereas the other two bunnies tend to go outside. Ariel literally only uses her litter tray and all the litter trays are sprayed down with some disinfectant so this is the Johnson's clean and safe disinfectant. It's a really good one. You can kind of buy it anywhere. I know pets at home sell it which is normally where I get mine from. But what I do with this is I just spray the litter tray all over. Um, I normally use quite a bit of this, especially on aerials, because hers is a damp litter tray. And then I use a cloth and wipe it all down and let that dry. So the next step is to sweep up all the excess hay and poos and everything out of the rabbit's enclosures and just get rid of that. And then by this point the litter tray is normally dried so the first thing I do is put a nice thick layer of shavings in there for them. And then that's followed by a lot of hay so my rabbits always get lots of hay because your rabbit's diet should be 90% hay and I pop that back in their enclosure. I normally put some dried hay on that as well. So that's Ariel done. Ariel has a very open space because she's a blind and death bunny. She's got her water down here and she's got her food bowls there. She has got a couple of toys that she doesn't really use. Um, but yeah, she mainly spends all her time outside. But the reason this is so empty um, isn't because I'm neglecting her needs for enrichment. It's actually because if we put anything in here, she kind of freaks out. Um, which is why she's hiding in a box at the moment. So that's why she doesn't have lots of toys or anything like that so next we're moving on to dotty hey dot and as you can tell dotty's got a few more things in here and um, she has a few more toys because she can see and she doesn't bump into things so we need to give this a clean out and i do exactly the same thing with dotty's that i just did with ariel's So again with her litter tray she first has shavings and then a whole lot of hay. I forgot to show you on aerials but I also add dry forage just like dried grass or dried dandelions and things like that in with the hay and I try and mix it in a bit just to encourage them to eat it and it's kind of a bit of a treat for them and as you can tell they really enjoy it. So here we go, that's all nice and clean, she's got new dried grass and things like that. So one happy dotty and she's got a few toys and things in there as well, oh I need to put other ones in. But yeah, there we go. Next up we have Nala's which is looking pretty messy. 
Okay, so looking a wee bit more organised now and tidier. And here's little grumpy Nala. What are you doing? Are you playing with your toy? So I just thought I'd show you a couple of really cheap ideas for giving your rabbits hay and things like that or if they have any treat hay kind of like what um, my forage is. So this here is actually a um, but meant to be a bird house but I actually got it from Home Bargains. I think it was a pound um, and it has little hooks to, that you can hook it onto wire and the rabbits can actually eat this as well because it's all made out of safe materials. Another thing is this is actually a suet cage for bird feed again, um, which was again a pound from somewhere, um, but it's really good for putting this in, it just means they work a bit harder um, and it keeps them a bit more entertained for a while. So that is all of the rabbits in here cleaned out, so it's time to go and do Tallulah. So if you don't know who Tallulah is by now, you definitely should because she's definitely queen bee around here. So this is Tallulah, my little rabbit, and she lives in a separate shed to the others. So this is Tallulah's shed. Um, she's on her own because she was hand reared and doesn't get on with other bunnies. So we need to give it a clean. Now Tallulah's shed is always the hardest to clean because she has so many services and so much going on. Um, like she suddenly decided she can now get up here um, so obviously she's just pooing everywhere so the biggest thing with Tallulah is I just have to sweep everything um, and try and get it looking okay and she also has her two litter trays one there and then one that she's setting now that I will also be changing today so with Tallulah's it's really just a lot of brushing up because she literally does poos everywhere and her shed does need a little bit of a revamp but at the moment i'm so busy making videos i don't really have time and then i change out her hay because she never really eats it out of the basket and then i clean out her litter trays So she's, for some reason, just running around my legs. She always gets excited after she's been cleaned out. What are you doing, bun? Um, but I thought I'd just show you what I've done. So up here, because she's using this a lot more, I've put her blanket down, um, just because it, she likes soft things. I've never known a rabbit that likes soft things so much as her. So I've popped this on here, and then she's got her little hay nest thing and then down on the ground floor stop being so annoying she has her unicorn bed now she's had this for years she really likes sitting on it and she's at, she actually normally like grooms its head um but i like to take things away and then give them her every now and again so i swap things around just so it doesn't get boring that's just her little hut that she has all the time she lives in there honestly she's always in there then in this um little section here in this hutch i really need to paint this but i've not really got round to it yet um she has her clean litter tray and her clean um basket of hay and she really likes that i need to like i really want to revamp the shed and like paint all of this and have flooring down and stuff um so i'm gonna do that at some point hello and then over this side, this hutch doesn't really have anything in it. She doesn't use the top section anymore. Um, but down the bottom, I have cleaned out her litter tray. And I've moved her tunnel about and things. Um, so it's just a little bit different for her. But that is Tallulah all cleaned. Which means that the rabbits are now finished. And we will move on to the chickens. So moving on to the chickens, so we have quite a few chickens here on the farm, they're all ex-batteries and to clean out their coops each day all we use is a cat litter scoop and a bucket. So this is our coop, um, I always get asked where these are from, they're from thecleverCoopCompany.com They are quite expensive, I think they're like £600 each for a plastic coop, but they're really good 
So the first stage to clean out the chickens is to remove the roof on the nesting boxes, remove any eggs that have been laid and then I literally just sift through and remove any poos or wet that is in the little nesting box sections. And of course I have to have a bit of help and to be inspected by one of the chickens because chickens just literally won't leave you alone when you try and do anything. So once the nest boxes have been cleaned out, I then clean out the main floor of the coop. So this coop is really good, it just has this little attachment that means you can pull out the two trays. So we bed our chickens on shaving and then I do exactly the same thing with the bottom of the trays. I literally just sift through and remove any of the poos. And as you can see, the coops are never that dirty, especially when the weather's nice because the chickens are out most of the time. Um, but this is really effective and it keeps it really clean and hygienic for the chickens. And obviously sometimes we top up the shavings, sometimes they don't need it. Normally we give them a full clean once a week. But that is the chickens done once all three coops have been cleaned. And it's on to the piggies. So for the pigs, all I use is a normal shavings fork and a big bucket and the pigs always poo in one area so with pigs they're very clean they will always use one specific area to go to the toilet in they will literally go over that to wee and to poo and they never do it anywhere else so all I literally have to do is go in and use my fork to scrape up any of the poos and I honestly have no idea why Pickle decided he was going to shove his head in a bucket it seems whatever I put in with the pigs Pickle puts his head in it um, I thought it looked quite funny and like he was trying to actually help me today um, which of course if anyone has pet pigs you know they don't help in any way shape or form they're a massive hindrance but they're lovely so we can't blame them and I just repeat the exact same step for both piggies because obviously they have separate paddocks and that's it, that is the piggies all cleaned out for the day. It's basically just poo-picking their paddock. Okay, so moving on to the horses. So obviously the stables need mucking out every day. And we all know I love my big tidy. Thank you to Red Gorilla for kindly gifting it me. So I use this to remove any of the poos that are in the stable and just pop that into the barrow. Then I sift through with my fork and remove any extra poos because my horses like to trample them all in um, and make my life difficult. So once I think I've gotten the majority of the poo up, it's then on to the wet and it's just a case of removing any of the wet shavings. My horses get a full clean out each day. We don't deep bed them or anything like that because we just find it doesn't work for us. So they get a full clean out every single day. So once the wet has been removed, I then tend to brush up the wet area, scrape it all up and then proceed to pop the bed down. And all of my animal's waste goes on the giant muck heap which is removed by a local farmer. So finally all I have to do now is just brush the stable up and make the bed look presentable. Obviously adding any shavings if they are needed but today they were not. So that is all of my animals cleaned out in one video. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Normally I do this over a couple of days, but I thought I'll do it all in one. So don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys tomorrow at 12 for another daily video.